What's going on guys, this is Miron and welcome to the new video tutorial. In this video tutorial, what I am going to do is, I am going to show you how to populate the database table into the data grid view using single line of code in csub.net. So let's get started. First of all, we are going to create a database on SQL Server Management Studio. So open up SQL Server Management Studio, right click over database, new database, and then give the database name, and then click OK. Now expand that database folder and find the recently created database or click this refresh and then expand that recently created database right click over table and then click table. Here we are going to give some column name like employee number and this should be integer type and then employee name bear care and then job, bear care, and then salary, money. Simply uh, press Ctrl plus S from your keyboard and give the table name, and then click OK. Uh, expand that table directory, or you can refresh it. If you do not see it, and right here over that recently created table, and then click on edit top 200 rows. And we are going to save some data uh, over this table. So, Now we just inserted these uh, five uh, data in our table, so simply close it, it will automatically save our data. Now open up Visual Studio, click on File, New and then Project, select Visual C Sub, Windows and then Windows Form Application, give the name of your project. And then click OK. Now expand your form little bit and then go to server explorer we are going to connect our application with the database so right click over data connection add connection and then change the data source to sql server click ok and then provide your server name or simply click this drop down icon to see your server name and then select your database and then click ok now go to toolbox expand that uh, data directory and drag and drop data grid view over your form. Now what we are going to do is we are going to use link that is language integrated query in order to show that database table value in our data grid view. So in order to do so right click over your project and then click on add and then click on new item. Scroll down and find a link to SQL classes and give the name. You can give any name but the preferred name is your database name that is employee. And then click it. This is called OR designer. That means object relational designer. This converts the relational database into object oriented approach. So what you need to do is go to server explorer. Uh, expand that uh, recently added connection again expand table and drag and drop employee over left side of this OR designer there you can see this is the visual representation and once you drag and drop this uh, table over this OR designer some of the code are auto generated for you to see the auto generated code go to the server explorer and scroll down and you will find one file that is employee dot designer.cs double click that file and that is the auto generated code for you by visual studio uh, if you do not know what is this uh, file content uh, i will explain scroll down and there uh, you can find one class that is employee data context class actually this class is data context class and this class is prefixed with the name that we gave while adding the or designer so this class is employee data context uh, class and what is this class 
actually this class uh, it is a connection class that we use uh, in edu.net in order to connect our application with the database so this class it is a connection class in case of link and scroll down uh, there are some uh, constructor uh, you don't need to understand about this uh, scroll down there is one property that is employee employees property and this property return the table of our database scroll down there is one class that is employee class and while uh, you are working with the link the table becomes the classes in the uh, tables columns become the property that you can see property and the table record becomes the instance and the store procedure becomes the method so that's it uh, in this uh, designer.cs file code so you can close this file now go to your form double click over the form it will create the load event of the form now what we need to do is we need to create the object of that data context class so employee employee data context edc and here what we are going to do is we are going to create the instance we create the variable of the class here edc is equal to new employee data context and what we need to populate this uh, database table into data grid view in case of edu.net is we need to use uh, command sql command uh, class data table class and uh, data adapter table connection class but here we use only this data context class in order to connect our application with the database in one line of code that is data grid view one dot data source is equal to edc dot emp employees that is this property return the table as i explained earlier that's it just run your program that's it just one line of code can populate our data grid view or the exact way to write the code is just comment this and what you need to write is system dot data dot link dot table and here goes our table name that is employee table is equal to edc dot get table and here goes our table name that is employee and what we need to do is data grid view one dot data source is equal to table there you go just run it there you go or what you can do is you can uh, import this namespace at the top of your file so here using uh, system data dot link and scroll down there goes table is equal to this one and this one save and run there you go uh, you can either write uh, this much of code that is data grid b1 dot data source is equal to edc dot your class name data context class variable name and then the property that returns the table that is employees or what you can do is you can import system dot data dot link namespace in your project and then you can use the table classes and this get table method returns our table and later you can populate the data grid view using that table so that's it if you think this video help you in some extent give thumbs up which really motivates us to make such programming video and share this video with your friends so that they can know the easiest way to populate the data grid view while they are working with their project and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel uh, subscribe this channel and uh, please subscribe this channel because we create the tech and programming video for you and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye